What's a YouTube? Del here from Zephyr War Games, and today I am going to bring you the very basic combos that you're going to need to play Unchained. Now, most of the Unchained combos are all two card combos, but they are incredibly consistent because you now have six copies, technically nine if you use Abomination Prison to get to your basically pop and special summon. And then, of course, you've got all of the other Unchained monsters as well. So with all of that out of the way, please smash that like button, hit that notification bell and subscribe. Getting a video above 50 likes in the first 24 hours will show me that you want to see more content like this revolving around the Unchained. So with all of that out of the way, we're going to start straight off with our first combo. And this one is going to evolve us to normal summon our Reikia. Now it doesn't need to specifically be Reikia, it could also be Aruha. Um, it could even be your second copy of Sarama. The idea is you just want to pop it to get an effect off. It will adapt the combo later on down the line if you do use the destruction effect. But you kind of want to get as much advances as you possibly can. So we're going to start off with the Savara. So Savara's effect is going to destroy the Reikia. And this will then allow you to trigger the Reikia's effect to special another Unchained from the deck. And we're going to go straight for the Shayama, just to kind of get it to the board. We're then going to link these two together and go into Yama. Make Yama chain link one as it adds, and then use your Savara as chain link two because it sets, meaning you can chain block your Yama. To set Escape of the Unchained and add Aruha. Now you ideally want to go for Escape as it is your most interactive one during your opponent's turn, but you can also go for the Chamber, which is your monster reborn on a sense. Now that you've got your Aruha, you want to use Aruha's hand effect to summon itself down and destroy the escape of the Unchained. This will then allow you to trigger the escape of the Unchained's effect to special summon one from the deck, and you're going to go directly for your Sarama. You've also got the ability of Sarama to pop and loop around, but you want to do this a little bit differently now because we're going to link our Yama and you're going to lose the Adhara in order to get into your Soul of Rage. The reason we do that is we're actually going to use Yama as a extender in this particular combo, but in other combos you'll actually leave it in the graveyard as forms of interruption or revival during your opponent's turn. So, with this current setup here, what you want to do is you want to use Sarama's effect. You're going to want to destroy the Unchained Soul of Rage in order to special summon or reset the escape of the Unchained. So you've now got your trap reset. In doing so, on a new chain link, you're going to be able to use chain link one, your unchained soul of rage, and chain link two, Yama. So rage will allow you to target a theme monster in your graveyard, accept itself, and add it to the hand. And that's where you're going to want to loop back either your Aruha or, of course, your Reikia. You could also bring back your um, Savara if you want to, but we're going to kind of keep Shayama in the grave. That's the only one you need to leave there. So let's add back the Aruha so we've got follow up for the next turn. Yama is going to banish itself to bring back the Rage so you haven't really lost any type of advantage. You now want to use the graveyard effect of your Shayama. Shayama will then obviously destroy the Sarama which hasn't used its destruction and float effect as of yet. So you're going to be able to trigger that Sarama's float effect and this is going to allow you to special summon out another Savara which gives you the access to your rank 6 plays. So you're going to overlay those, you're going to go into your DDD Wave Hiking Caesar and that is pretty much your end of turn. Now, keeping in mind as well, in your opening hand, you would still have three more cards to play with. You've got the ability of Escape of the Unchained, which is something you're going to want to do after you've already used Rage to link off. Now, if you use Rage to link off and you don't go into another Unchained, then this isn't going to be as effective. But the idea is you're going to try and climb that higher as you go. Your High Wave King is going to be a double negate in a sense as well. So you do get that ability to pretty much Solemn Warning twice pop once and link once as well, which is really, really important. And you've got near enough a full hand to follow up on the next turn. So now what we're going to do is we're going to reset this and I'm going to show you a different approach with pretty much the same two cards as well. So here is the other two card combo. Again, you're pretty much going to end on the same board, but it just kind of shows you the variation you have. Now the Aruha could very easily be a Savara and then the Escape of the Unchained can very easily um, be a abominable chamber instead. So these are interchangeable as you see fit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start off by not even conducting our normal summon early on. You're going to set escape of the unchained. You're going to use the Aruha to destroy the escape, summoning itself down. Trigger escapes effect, which will let you special summon out the Sayama. You can then use Sayama's effect to destroy the Aruha. Keep in mind that it's a you can destroy a spell and trap on the field. Obviously you don't have to, so because it isn't one there, you don't need to worry about it. This will then allow you to float into your Shavara, and then your Shavara will get an effect when it's sent to the graveyard by linking these two together and going into a Yama. Again, exact same process. Do chain link one Yama, chain link two will be your Shavara. So what you're gonna to wanna to do here is you're gonna add your normal summon. Now this can be Reikia or this can be Sharama. It really is up to you. 
You're then going to use the Unchained Soul of Savara to set the Abominable Chamber of the Unchained. You now conduct your normal summon by normal summoning down the Rakia, and then this is where you've obviously conducted your normal summon, so you do need to be a little bit careful, but it doesn't really make a huge amount of difference. If you were to go for your Sharama, Sarama would still do the exact same thing. Raker can then use her effect to destroy the Abominable Chamber of the Unchained, and this will then allow you to use the Abominable Chamber to float into the Sarama. Sarama's effect can then be triggered if you want to, and this will allow you to reset the escape and then ultimately destroy the Yama. You can leave the Yama on the board and destroy the Raker instead, and this will still float, or you can leave it as it is and make the rank three DDD Darius moving up into the rank eight as well. So that's just a different variation of where you'd want to take it. But in this one, we're actually going to be using uh, Resolving the Sarama's Effect and we're going to destroy the Rakia as it is the one card that hasn't floated as of yet. So you can float her into an Aruha and then obviously you get to overlay both of these and go into a um, rank 3 as well. So you're still getting the same ability, you're just deck thinning that one level more. Ultimately, what you can also do as well with this extra monster is you can then use Yama plus your Aruha and go into your Rage. You can repeat what I showed you in the previous combo where you destroy Rage, but we're actually going to destroy our Sarama by using the Shayama in the graveyard, and this will then allow us to float the Sarama into a Shavara. All of the Shires and Shars. <laughs> um, at this point, it's up to you if you want to use Yama as an extender again. In doing so, what this will allow you to do is it will allow you to pretty much bring back a Rakia. So you've got Rakia's effect during your opponent's turn, or of course, you could bring back an Aruha. And in doing so, the idea is that you're trying to keep a Unchained on the board for Escape of the Unchained as well. This is basically just showing you the same outcome of the deck, just a different way of getting there, and you'll maintain three cards in your hand, not four this time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another combo, and we'll show you how you can utilize all of the other um, DDD cards as well if you want to. The end boards are all pretty much the same. It's just great that it has loads of different consistency factors to get to the same end board, which is what makes this deck very powerful and very consistent. For the last combo, again, very standard two card combo. So any of your unchained cards that can be destroyed to Abomination's Prison, Chamber, or of course, uh, Escape. And then of course, you've got a Ruha, or it can be your Savara as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set the prison. We're going to special summon down the Aruha by destroying the prison. This will then allow us to special summon out the Savara. Then link Savara plus your Aruha together and go into Yama. And then do the exact same kind of chain block combo of chaining one Yama, chaining two Savara. Savara can set escape or of course can also set chamber. And then Yama will search you out your normal summon for the turn and that is going to be your Sarama. You're then going to normal summon the Sarama and then you've got the ability to continue to go off. So you're going to use Sarama's effect to target the escape, destroying the escape. And this time, rather than resetting a spell or trap, you're going to reset the Aruha. This will then allow you to trigger the escape of the Unchained and this will allow you to special summon out your Shayama. Then what you want to do is you want to get your Shayama to the graveyard by linking these two together and going into Rage. At this point, you still then have the effect of the graveyard to use your Shayama. You just target a card you control and destroy it, so you're going to target your face down Aruha, destroy this while summoning it out. On the new chains, you can go chaining one Aruha and chaining two Yama, again, chain blocking your Aruha from being ashed. Off of the Yama, you're going to banish this and you're going to summon back the Shavara, and then you're going to use the Aruha effect, and this is going to allow you to special summon out Rekia. If you wanted to, you could use Yama's effect here to destroy the Sarama, and then that would allow it to float back around. But we're not going to do that because you still have the exact same board you want anyway. The only difference you'll get is you'll put the Sarama in the graveyard to float into another Aruha, which will deck thin you by an additional one card. What you want to do here is you want to overlay the two sixes to make your DDD wave hiking Caesar, and then you want to overlay the two threes to go into DDD um, Darius. And then on top of Darius, you can go into the Deuce X Machina. Now, what this will allow you to do is you've got two technically solemn warning off the back of the Caesar. You'll still have an additional three cards in your hand to play with. You've also got the link play off of the back of Rage, and you'll then have the ability to absorb twice off of the Machina because you'll detach two to absorb one from your opponent, and then you'll be able to detach two more to absorb another one from your opponent. Meaning that should you absolutely need to during the next turn, if you can't survive, you can attack, 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 and then turn this into a Zeus. 
that will then at least have two materials and you've got the ability to wipe the board should you need to. But ultimately, once you've disrupted your opponent that many times, you should be leading into the back of game. So that's it for all of the free combos. Very basic. One just shows you how you can get both of the DDDs. The other one, it shows you how you can consistently get into uh, the standard two card combo ending on a triple D wave high king Caesar and at least a soul of rage. Now these are the base minimum basic combos all requiring two cards. There are different ways of what card you can end up having back in your hand by the end of it, uh, the resource management, and then what traps or spells you leave on the board. So it depends if you want the triple D or the machina or a trap card, and then that's not dependent on what else you have in your hand. Anyway, I hope this has been informative. I hope it's shown you the bare basics of the video. Uh, most of these combos, like I said, can be interchangeable. They can all change their outcomes as well, but they all pretty much end on a rage, a set card, and then plays of everything else. The best ones are where you can leave Yama in the graveyard as well, because that does give you an additional line of defensive play during your opponent's turn as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you do like, comment, subscribe, share. Any questions at all, by all means, please put them in the comments down below. I will be more than happy to answer them for you. But for now, as absolutely always, stay safe and, of course, happy dueling.